Welcome back. This is uh, the second video in the series of um, fixing this rock box chunk. Uh, what we did last time didn't really work, so I ordered some new batteries, um, and now we're gonna put together the new batteries in the sort of coordination they need to be, and see if we can get this thing working. Uh, hopefully, it's just a problem with the batteries. Um, so here we go. Get the, let's get the top off first of all. It's always a good place to start. Get the tops off. So just the same as last time, we're unclipping these little clips that hold this in, and then the whole thing just comes off. Nasty stain and all. Left the battery unplugged. That's the way I roll and put things back together. And we'll just speed through taking these screws out here. So again, this video isn't, isn't going to be how to fix your rock box chunk. This is just a sort of look at what, you know, people throw out their old stuff when it stops working in the, and because, you know, it's a closed box, there's no obvious reason that it stops working or how to fix it. And this is just a look at how, you know, just with a couple of days or, you know, a wee bit of thought and a few pounds, you can be fix it. Uh, there's an extra wire there that needs to come off. I don't know if we've seen that. No, we've never seen that last time. So we never took the screws out. So there we go. Just get, that's just the, for the controller board at the top there, where the light. It's got like touch panel at the light at the top. I don't know if we discussed that. And with this out, we can flip it over, and let it dangle for a bit before we realise what we're actually doing. Oh no, we're getting the screws out. Um, and now we're just sort of poking around. What we need to do is unclip that battery. And I'm fairly sure we're going to do that shortly. Oh, here we go. We're going to get back clean first. So, just brushing away all this. This doesn't obviously affect the effect, but clearly in my heart, I knew we were going to fix it. Or I hoped. So, we'll take the battery out. Bend the rest of that just now. We don't need that. Now, we need to get all this like shielding off the battery. This is here, I guess, as a health and safety thing or something. So, I'll just shrink wrap. To keep all the connections well away from anything inside that plastic box which may have caused it some sort of problems and a sharp blade will do the trick and we'll just slice this up being careful not to actually slice the batteries because that would be bad news we do not want that so peel off this shrink wrap stuff here and you can begin to see what we're dealing with bit more tape which is just holding the joints together and holding that, that little charge controller board in the middle there which uh, thinking about what we've done the other the last video where I just put the live and neutral wires into that connector probably what it needs is some sort of reading from that white wire either going into the controller board to say like I'm here to charge you, or like it needs to take a voltage from that back to the other charger board to see that it's okay to charge, and that's that'll be where it's going wrong. I did try charging these batteries somewhere else after as well, and they are completely dead. Like they would, they wouldn't even take a charge. So, you know, it's it's probably because it was left on and plugged in for a long time, you know, a matter of weeks. Uh, anyway, here are the new batteries, which have a name which it's apt for this video because it seems like I'm creating a fire risk here. Ultra fire. So we just have to pop off all these little um, connectors on the back that holds the batteries in this sort of shape and they're all like um, spot welded on to the batteries, the connectors, just to keep it simple and make it quick to make. Uh, in this video, I was going to use the solder and iron that you see there to put the wires on and stuff that we use to build up the new battery pack, but solder, soldering onto these batteries is impossible because the the metal is like super clear, uh, super flat and shiny, and it's not just not great to solder onto. In a future video, we'll go back and rough up the edges and get the wires that you'll see that sort of sort of little patch wires which just connect everything together you see it in the middle of the old ones there it's got that square and on the ends these bits just holding it together so 
So now we've just chopped off the old charger controller board and we'll just plonk it on here together with the new batteries, which will be necessary otherwise we won't be able to charge these batteries. Um, there are various ways we probably could have got it to work just by wiring these batteries up, but really I wanted to have the ability to charge it as well. So without the use of the solder and iron, we're trying to connect these batteries together and keep them held together. So uh, a bit of a bit of a conundrum and uh, just sort of tried a wee bit with the solder and iron here but I wasn't having it. Got myself a big roll of Captan tape and this is really strong and it's like burn proof and insulating and all that good stuff so just using that now to hold the batteries together whilst we jimmy in all these other wee bits that we need in there and patch it up. So the first one, we need to get this bit in the center, which has got that white wire, which I was saying, I think is like a voltage read or something like that, which goes um, back to the the other connector. So we just use this tape to hold the batteries together, which this is not, again, this is what I was saying, this is not a permanent fix because this is not a great solution. But all we're wanting to do here is just figure out if the problem was just with the batteries or if it was elsewhere. And to be fair, there's not a lot that could have went wrong with this board, with this thing. It's, all it is is just a wee, a wee Bluetooth receiver with an amplifier and a couple of speakers. The biggest part of it is the batteries, uh, really, aside from the speakers, which we've seen. Um, so this, this is just a wee patch going in the middle there and then just taping down the little charger board there uh, to make sure everything's secure. This tape holds it together really good. It's a bit messy and doesn't really look like a great way to be running a Bluetooth speaker but just to make sure we're not we're not going to be using it like this forever. We will fix it. So a bit out of focus here just taping it up probably best to keep it out of focus so you can't see the mess of it but this is just taping down the long runner that goes down to the negative terminals and I've put it off to the side here because we don't, can't put it to the centre because that um, little patch bit's not there so we're just running it off to the side and then I've got another jumper cable which is going to go between these two ends to get the whole thing together in a loop and then we're good. I did promise no more janky cable twisting and that's exactly what we've got here. And then just a wee bit of a knife again and the batteries, this is all this is all perfect. And then slide the wire in. And we're just about done. We're just gonna make it a bit more rigid with some more of this good tape. There we go, that's how the old one looks, that's how the new one looks. We'll get rid of the solder and iron. Let's plug it back in and see what we get. So it still fits in here perfectly fine. And then we need to connect up that other little cable for the um, buttons at the top and plug in the battery. We, we turned it on and nothing happened. So we're having a little think and wondering why we just wasted the last half an hour building this stupid battery. Disconnect the battery again, plug it back in. Still nothing. Hmm. would be too easy just to throw it away at this point. What are we missing? We need to... Right, here we go. A wire. Look, right, plugged it in and we're getting the charging indicator now, so that's great. And it's connected to the speaker. It's connected to the echo even. Here we go. Some excellent uh, music now. This is a beef test 
a base sweep test thingy, which uh, is just a bit of fun, really. There's no real reason for doing that, and sticking a screwdriver on it probably wasn't a great idea. Here's another one, just to make sure the neighbours are all on board. A good uh, frequency sweep on the speaker. All working perfectly. So that's an excellent little project and it's all it's all come together in the end after the disappointment of my stupid idea with the other charger not working. So it just goes to show that we you know you, you could have bought the speaker and went to use it one day and it wasn't working and you might just go, Oh well guess what, snackered. Throw the whole thing in the bin and forget it ever existed. And that's like an eighty quid speaker that you're just throwing away. But we Maybe just like a tenner on some batteries and uh, spend a couple of hours tinkering around, you can get your speaker working again and it's just as good as before. So this is probably what it's going to be like on this channel from now on. Just, it's not all going to be ele electronics, maybe some cooking or fixing other things or, you know, random DIY bits. We'll see what happens. But for now, that's the speaker. Thanks.